Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem X, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Now, there's another type of acid that we need to talk about, which is our weak acids. Now, we know the strong acids are fully dissociated in solution, so therefore, weak acids are partially dissociated in solution. If you dissolve a weak acid in solution, only some of these acids will dissociate to give me H. So basically, the word weak just means partial dissociation. Now, if I have a weak acid here, CH3COH, then how would we represent the partial dissociation of this weak acid in equation form? Actually, it's very simple, we just use a reversible arrow. So what this means is if you have a solution of a CH3COH, not all of them is dissociated into CH3CO minus and H plus, only some of it is dissociated into ions. So we will be a system in equilibrium. So at equilibrium, you have a certain concentration of my CH3COH undissociated and a certain concentration of my ions which are dissociated. Now since this is a system in equilibrium, then I can write out an equilibrium constant which is associated with this dissociation of my weak acid. Now, the dissociation constant of this particular weak acid is just given by Ka Ka is just be the concentration of the product divided by the concentration of the reactant so it just be CH3CO minus concentration multiplied by H plus concentration divided by CH3COH concentration Now usually Ka value is small around the region of 10 to the power of minus 3, 10 to the power of minus 4, 10 to the power of minus 5 so what this means is in solution actually a very very small amount of H plus is released most of it exists as undissociated CH3COOH now if you want to determine the pH of a solution of a weak acid then again you have to look at the concentration of H plus in solution now what we know because this is a partial dissociation the concentration of H plus in solution will be less than the concentration of my CH3COOH or the concentration of my weak acid In this case, I've written this as much smaller than because again, most of the time the dissociation of H plus in solution is very small there's only a very, very small amount of H plus released in solution Now of course, there's no way we can uh, calculate the concentration of H plus in this way there's actually a formula that we can use to determine the concentration of H plus for a weak acid Now the formula is defined as the concentration of H plus will just be the square root of Ka multiplied by concentration of my weak acid. And of course with H plus concentration we can calculate the pH of the solution by taking the negative log of this concentration of H plus. Now lastly we have to consider our weak bases. Now weak bases just means that again uh, it's partially dissociated in solution. For example, if I have ammonia, which I dissolve this in solution, it doesn't dissociate fully to give me OH minus, it will be a partial dissociation. So again, it will be represented by a reversible sign. Now again, since this is a system in equilibrium, I can write out equilibrium constant associated with this particular equilibrium. Now because this is an equilibrium constant for a weak base, just represent this as Kb. Now Kb will just be the concentration of NH4 plus multiplied by concentration of OH minus divided by concentration of ammonia in H3. Now the water will not be in the equation because uh, the, everything is dissolved in solution. You have a large excess of water. Concentration of water is a constant, so therefore it will be incorporated into my Kb. Again, usually for weak bases, the value for Kb is pretty small uh, around the region of 10 to the power of minus 3, 10 to the power of minus 4, 10 to the power of minus 5 So what this means is, again, the concentration of my OH- in solution will be much, much smaller than the concentration of ammonia So what we can do is we can write out this expression Now we know that in solution, the concentration of my OH- is much, much less than the concentration of my weak base 
Now similarly, we'll use a formula to calculate the concentration of OH- for our weak base. So the OH- concentration for the weak base will just be defined as the square root of my KD multiplied by the concentration of my weak base. Now again, once you have our OH- concentration, you can calculate POH. Subsequently, you can calculate the pH of this solution of weak base. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.